Hey, what's going on, guys? We've got Coach Austin here, Coach Jessica, and then Coach Aluna ready to show you some hip stretches. Okay, so last week, we showed you a few hip mobility helped you open up and release the tension in those larger hip muscles, the glute, the hamstrings. Today, we want to do the same, but we're going to hit those muscles, but we're going to try to target a little bit deeper into the joints, okay? So two specific muscles that we are focusing on are your psoas muscles or iliopsoas and your piriformis, both of which help to rotate the hip, okay? Rotate that femur bone within that hip joint. So let's get to it. First a stretch we have here today, I call it a lunge psoas stretch. I make up names, okay? Don't go around telling people you're doing lunge psoas stretch. They might not know what it is. But you have one leg up in front, the other leg down right underneath your hips, right underneath your shoulders. Both arms up to the air first. Lean back a little You should feel a good hip flexor stretch on the side that is down. Drop whatever leg is forward, her right leg is forward. She's going to drop her right arm. That left arm comes up and leans over. So what that does, just to turn opposite way, the complete other side. There we go, there we go. So your, your psoas muscle connects from the back of the bottom of your ribcage, travels down through the low back, through the hips, comes to the front of the hip from the hip flexion. So you should feel it to the front of the hip. You should also feel it to the low back hip. Stretch number two. Uh, what do we call this? We made up a weird name, just rocking side to side. Think so. We're, so we're trying to come up with something. Yeah, I think I think it was just like rock. Leg rocks. Leg rocks. We'll call it leg rocks. Feet about shoulder width apart, but a right angle above your knees, hands back behind. Okay, this is your starting position. Knees are going to rock to the left. Knees are going to rock to the right. Nice and slowly, going back and forth, holding them for about three seconds each. Inch. You should feel a good. Minor stretch. I say minor because it's minor muscles. It's smaller muscles that can sometimes cause a deep pain. Okay? So you can also hold it there on one side and then drop to your elbows is another option. Drop it to the elbows towards the side, whatever side is down. So she's over to her left, she's going to rock over to her left, drop it down to her elbows. Then it's going to target your piriformis more so. Again, those little small baby muscles within the hips. Number three, stretch number three, uh, a more popular stretch that does actually have a name. Figure four is one name of it. One knee has about a right angle. For the other, ankle is going to cross over that knee, okay? So it's rotated, it's crossed over. You're bringing that shin in towards your chest as much as you can. Hands back behind you if you would like. Jessica's very flexible so she doesn't have to use her hands. The goal is to bring that foot towards the chest, right? The closer you bring, the better likely push that knee away. That should deepen the stretch. But sometimes that can be too much pressure to your wrist or to your neck. So another version of this same stretch is falling down to your back, picking up that foot, and then hugging in towards you. You can hug it in like this. You can have somebody else safely, gently push it in, or you can prop it up on a chair, an ottoman, something small around you to let it be more comfortable. Okay, so those are our three stretches. Those rotational stretches is the purpose of this video. Those small, minor muscles within the hips that can make a big difference. 